I'm back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on, people? I'm back. Abu Samra's back with a new video. Five or six months, I don't know how long it's been, but it's been around that time. It's been a long time, basically, since I put out a video. And yeah, man, I feel so good to be back. And I've had so much fun vlogging recently. So yeah, man. Thank you guys so much for staying patient, for sticking around. It's very much appreciated. So while I was off YouTube for that time, um, someone left a comment saying that they would like to see videos on expat areas and i thought yeah that's a really good idea i think that'd be beneficial for people who are moving to egypt to work or study and stuff like that so i figured why not let's get into that and i decided to start with a place that frequently came up when i was doing my research on places to live in expat areas just before i moved to egypt and uh yeah man so listen i don't want to waste any more time let's just get straight into the video all right guys so i'm about to head out but i want to talk to you guys about something very very quickly so uber in egypt has been getting really really expensive and you know i don't feel like it's a good use of money especially when you have cheaper options out there now me personally uh even though uber is convenient and you know it's a lot more private um it's still very very expensive so an app that i'm going to be using at some point today to help me with my transportation is called swivel don't worry this is not an ad i ain't that famous you know to be <laughs> doing ads but i genuinely feel that this will benefit a lot of people so swivel is basically like a private bus right so what you do is you put in the destination that you want to go to and it will give you many options of where to get picked up right and then it will tell you the route that you will take what time the bus will come to pick you up at the pickup point and what time you're expected to get there. So it's basically like a micro bus, but just a little bit more sophisticated. And me personally, I like taking a micro bus. I take a micro bus to work every day, uh, to work and from work, and I haven't really had any issues. So yeah, I like micro buses. Now, my honest opinion, I like swivel. I really, really do like swivel. I like the idea of it, um, but I just have two problems with it. Number one is the drivers can be late sometimes and you find that you're bus will be delayed two or three times and you know overall you end up waiting for like another 20 minutes the other thing that sucks is sometimes they take really 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 long routes and you know if you have to pick up like eight people you know it can like it can get really really long but otherwise the drivers are normally good customer service is pretty good as well and uh yeah i mean you know i i like it so I would highly recommend Swivel. Now there have been some cheaper alternatives to Uber and there are basically two apps. You've got InDriver and you've got DD. Now DD is very, very new. It only came out like I think last month or two months ago. Uh, and they're a lot more cheaper than Uber. They're roughly the same price. So, you know, they're not, um, you know, there's no real difference between InDriver and DD, but the real difference is between InDriver, DD and Uber. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know of that because transportation in Egypt is slowly getting more expensive. So, you know, that's one thing you should cut down on because you'll be saving a lot more money. Anyway, I really need to get going, so let's go. One of the first areas I'm going to show you that is known for having a lot of expats is Zamalek. Now Zamalek was one of the very first places I stayed in for like the first two weeks of my stay. And uh, yeah, that's one of the first things I noticed. It's very cosmopolitan in the sense of like restaurants and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm like right on the edge of the pavement right now. So yeah, um, so that's what I noticed about Zamalek. Now Zamalek is like a little island basically. Um, some people refer to it as Gezira, I think. Um, yeah, because it's literally like an island. So I'll try and show you like a shot of it while I'm talking. And uh, yeah, I'm just basically gonna show you guys what Zamalek is about. Um, I don't know what attracts foreigners to this island. Maybe because, uh, I don't know, because there are other foreigners here and they're attracted to that as well. That could be it. But uh, yeah, so like it's cool, man. It's nice, I really like it. That shot that you just saw reminds me of Siwa. There's a place in Siwa that is a lot like that. I'm actually looking to vlog in Siwa. That's a vlog I'm really looking forward to, but 
you know I don't make money off YouTube so I can't go and vlog right away and I gotta work I got babies to feed I got nappies to change you gonna change my nappies for me I didn't think so so don't say hey when's the vlog coming out it's gonna have to wait bruh <laughs> I just came across this park today I've never ever seen it before and I've been around Zamedic quite a lot when I used to live close here I used to go around Zamedic but right now I'm in this park uh, what's it called bro uh, the fish garden the fish garden this is really really cool man I like it yeah. so I was about to walk in here and I can just hear bats is that one there? Bro, is that a bet or is that... Probably, yeah. oh, Forget that, I'm not going inside. It's just in a little prayer room right now. This is uh, in the garden itself, in the park. And uh, yeah, I think this is one thing I've learned to appreciate about um, well, no, I've always appreciated this about Muslim countries. It's just, you know, you've got prayer rooms available. You've got so many mosques, like, and literally, like, every corner. So it's, it's really, really cool. Um, London is starting to move in that direction, though, alhamdulillah, actually. It's nice that they're trying to be inclusive and stuff. That's always one thing I've appreciated about the UK. It's, it's, it, they're so tolerant over there, you know. Um, but, of course, when you're in a Muslim country like Egypt and so on, it's, like, it's on a whole different level, you know. So... Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I am the person who has all the but, but what? What do you have? Disadvantages full of what? I don't get it. Trees and so many trees in Zamalek, that's why I love. Now that one shot is the only time you will see the streets of Zamalek empty. I think I got it at the right time. Uh, but yeah, let's check out some, some restaurants that they have. So aside from Starbucks and, you know, Dunkin' Donuts and all these other major coffee shops that they have they still have like the local coffee shops where you can just literally just hang out chill and uh, all of that stuff basically so um yeah zamalek's got a bit of both a bit of everything you know you've got the international side and you still got the local egyptian side which i think is good it keeps the authenticity and uh yeah i think it's cool look at this architecture right here though look at this architecture right here though now that's something else you'll notice about Zamalek as well. They've got some really nice architecture. Kind of like European inspired kind of stuff. Um, old but still classy at the end of the day. That's what I think anyway. So. So many trees. So the reason why they've got this thing here is because they're actually building a, a metro station in Zamalek. And I think it's going to be super dope because, um, like, I feel like right now Zamalek is just kind of like isolated away from everything. So I think it's just going to open it up a bit more. I don't know how the residents of Zamalek would feel, but I mean, still, it's, it's going to be good for the place, I think. Let's check out some more places. Zalabia. Zalabia? <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm at this place right now, they do like Zalabia, Zalabia is basically this, it's like this, uh, what is it, like pastry? Yeah, it's like a fried pastry. Yeah. Fried pastry and they got chocolate on there, they put um, some syrup or something and uh, they put powdered sugar on it as well, so I just got this one. This is like a sample right here, so I'm going to go for a bite. <laughs> Thank you. <man. laughs> hey, that's good. Right, really good. So I'm going to get the powdered sugar right now and um, yeah, let's do it, man. Alright guys, so let me show you this Zalabia. It's amazing, man. The reason why I love it so much is because my mother used to make it for me uh, during Ramadan. So we used to have it every single Ramadan. And uh, it just brings back very, very nice memories. So let me get a bite real quick. So this is the Zalabia I always go on about. Uh, with the powdered sugar on there. 
This place is called Batatas and Zalabia. It's um, off the corner from the cinema in Zamalek. So if you ever do come, make sure you check it out. I hope you guys can hear me from all this. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear everything. So remember how I said Zamalek is an island on the Nile? Let me get some shots for you real quick. Yeah, I thought I'd stay here for a bit. <laughs> Just like literally, literally on the Nile right now. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but one thing you might notice when you come to Zemedic is there are a lot of trees, which is good. Especially if you're from Europe or anywhere in the West, you know, where you have a lot of areas of green and stuff, because you won't really find that in Cairo. Now, Zemedic is in that category of, uh, of places where rent is really really expensive obviously because there are a lot of foreigners there and it's just like a melting pot of expats basically uh, it's a really cosmopolitan area so you'll find Chinese restaurants Japanese restaurants all sorts and uh, yeah that's basically what drives the rent up so much and as I mentioned earlier you know it's on the Nile so um, that's another thing that skyrockets the the rent uh, but otherwise yeah it, it is a cool place it's just a lot of people a lot of cars so uh, yeah anyway I think it's time I head home now because um, yeah sun's starting to come down and uh, yeah so let's go home Right, so that's a little bit about Zamalek. Hopefully I gave you enough info and I showed you enough of Zamalek. But if you have any more questions on the area itself, then just throw them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. As you guys saw, Zamalek is very, very cosmopolitan in the sense of it's got international restaurants. There are a lot of foreigners that live there as well, even though you didn't get to see them. And uh, yeah, in terms of just, you know, if you want to go around for a walk and just, you know, see Zamalek for yourself, it's actually a very nice place. Yes, Zamalek is cosmopolitan, however, you will still find many Egyptians there, many Egyptian restaurants, many Egyptian shops, and just many Egyptians, I guess. So you still get the best of both worlds. Now, me being a family man, Zamalek isn't a place that I would like to live in, uh, mainly because, you know, I've got two kids and I'd prefer if they stayed in an area that was a bit more quiet. Me personally, I feel like there isn't enough things there for kids so based off of that maybe i wouldn't take my family there now while i was walking around there were schools there there was a national school there if i'm not mistaken there was also a school i think there was a sri lankan school or a pakistani school something like that or something like that there i don't know how many of those schools are around zamalek but it's worth giving it a look of course if you're a foodie zamalek is great because you've got the places that are quite international like pizza hut mcdonald's kfc papa john's dunkin donuts costa and the list goes on. And you've also got the independent places as well, and you've got the local uh, Egyptian coffee shops as well. So like I said, you get the best of both worlds there. Now, as you guys saw, Zamalek is pretty crowded. There are a lot of people that live there, and as a result, there's a lot of traffic there most of the time. So commuting from and to Zamalek might not be convenient, so that's something you might want to take into consideration. Unless your commute is literally a walking distance or you don't mind walking a little bit further, that's fine. But bear in mind, the summer is really, really hot. So if you're going to be walking in that heat, you're going to be sweating a lot. So just keep that in mind. And because it's an expat area, Zemelik is really, really safe. Egypt in general is safe. I don't understand why people think it's dangerous. I think it's safer than the UK. Every time I go back home to the UK, I always feel like, okay, I've got to look over my shoulder, you know. Got to look ahead, a bunch of guys there, they're going to try and do something. But in Egypt, I don't really feel like that, especially when you go to places like Zamalek. It's, it's very, very chilled. It's very, very nice. I also forgot to mention that there are a couple sporting clubs in Zamalek. So I think you have Nedi Zamalek there and you have uh, Gezira Club there as well. So that's another place you can take the kids to, especially if you want to get them into sports. But apart from the sporting clubs... The cruise on the Nile in that park, I think there isn't really much to do for families, I guess. There are no malls in Zemelik, but then again, that's not too much of an issue because there are a lot of restaurants there, coffee shops and so on. Um, so you should be fine in that regard. 
I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to add. But if you're an Egyptian and you've watched this video and you know Zomatic very well and you feel like I might have, you know, been wrong in some things that I've said or if you feel that I missed out on some things, then please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you found this video informative and educational and I hope you benefit from it. So, uh, yeah, man. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys are happy that I'm back. And, uh, yeah, I'll try not to disappear again. That's it from me. This has been your boy Abu Samra. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.